Welcome to Crime Corner. I'm Omnidog, joined by Joe Goose, my new buddy for Crime Corner. How's it going, Joe? It's going great. I'm enjoying the beautiful weather this Sunday. We went out, took my kids out to uh, to breakfast, and now back here, ready to talk about Alias. So I'm nice. excited. And yep. so we, you and I talked in the green room about this. You are born and bred New York City. Correct. Just like, uh, I guess, the Avengers and Marvel. <laughs> right. Uh, so there is definitely a lot of uh, areas that, you know, as I'm reading either Avengers or any New York based comic, you'll definitely see some of the, the usual suspects, like the bunch of the different streets, uh, the landmarks, all that stuff. So is there a Yancey Street? Um, I believe there is a Yancey Street. I'm don't quote me on it. I've never I don't think I've ever been on Yancey Street if there is one, but I think okay. there is. It might be in the village, like uh Greenwich Village somewhere. Okay. But because uh, down there the streets could be could get really small and instead because New York City is a grid, but in certain areas the grid goes right out the window, streets across like dissecting or they yeah. go different ways. So it could be a small street in the village okay. somewhere. So uh, um okay, we already have a couple of viewers. Dragos, Taylor Talks Comics. The new dynamic duo. I hope Joe <laughs> Goose has a better faith than Jason Todd. <laughs> Fingers so crossed. Too. It's the best JJ. I'll accept that. Thank you. you Roberto. Gary, hi guys. Nice to see you to get my mind's off of my problems. Well, I'm sorry about your problems. I hope we can help uh, get them off uh, your mind. Uh, this is where I come to get my mind, my mind's off, my mind off my problems. I'm already messing exactly. up. Same. Uh, <clears throat> so Joe, of course, is my new co-host for Crime Corner. Uh, stepping honored. in. Honored. For the Minister of Comics, who uh, has too many children, too many new <laughs> jobs, too many problems. 99 problems, and Crime Corner is not is one. not one, right. <laughs> <laughs> Omni Dog gave me the confidence to propose to my girlfriend. She said no. <laughs> Howdy, Jess. Hey, Bunkmaster. Excited for the turn of Crime Corner. Looks a little different than last time. A little goozier. I like it. Some YouTuber during a comic was during a com doing a comic review and didn't believe there was an Alphabet City in New York City. There, What's there Alphabet is. City? Alphabet City is um it's Lower East Side. Um, so it's like Avenue. It'll literally be the letters of the alphabet. So it's Avenue A, B, C. Oh, and that's and called Alphabet City. That alphabet area, City, yeah. Mm-hmm. I had never heard of that, except yeah. maybe on Sesame Street or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is definitely an Alphabet City. Sweet Aunt Petunia, in a reference to uh, Ses oh, Sesame Street, <laughs> Yancey Street. <laughs> uh, isn't Joe Goose the artist of the Omnibros shirt? I, I am. <laughs> and actually, I don't even know. Are you an artist by trade? No, that's something that I do not want to ever do, I don't think. You know, it'll just it'll just take the fun out of it. I've done oh, okay. one one commission job and I did not have fun the entire time. Oh, okay. So I could see myself maybe you know designing my own T-shirts and stuff and throwing them on like a website that you know people could buy the the shirts and things like that. Um, but I don't think I could ever do commissions and stuff. I I just like it too much and I don't want it to become. I totally you know, get it. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, well, you certainly are a great cartoonist. I know that by Thank seeing you. the, it's a lot the of fun, fun stuff you did for Omni Bros. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, but or the Omni Bros, Omni, the Omnibus Collectors Network, because you have the fangirls in there too. Yeah, um, even though I'm, I'm I, the uh, piece that I did for Maddie still kind of just looks like Wonder Woman, like a cartoon version of Wonder Woman. <laughs> She's probably <laughs> so, I, isn't her name like Wonder Maddie or something? Yeah, it is. She, it is. She probably is happy with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alias, one of my favorite Marvel ones. All right, well, we're glad you have it. Uh, have us tuned on, tuned in. Mm -hmm. God, whatever. Turned on. <laughs> it's Sunday. In, whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, so okay, Joe lives in uh, New York City. Now you just said you took 
your children to lunch? Do you have grown yep. children or little kids? So I have a 21 year old daughter who graduates college on Friday. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, she starts grad school in Feb uh, February, in the fall. And then uh, I have a 16 year old son. So they're Good. not really kids, but I still call them kids. Yeah, well, they're always our kids. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I have a 30 year old, 31 year old kid at Disney World <laughs> right now. I know, I'm jealous. I am too. She's yeah. sending pictures of all the fun stuff they're doing. I know. Um, her it's friend is more of a roller coaster person, and I was going to go on the coasters with her uh, while my daughter uh, just ate Dole Whips. But so her friend has no problem uh, <laughs> going on the coasters by herself. Oh, gotcha. Aku says, I got to read Alias. I love Bendis. And I will say that I guess this is considered peak Bendis. I also love Bendis. You and I discussed yep. that we were both Bendis fans. Yeah, um, I know he gets a lot of hate, which I don't. I don't get. But I mean, I, I mean, you like what you like, right? So yeah, I I don't get it either because mm -hmm. I I've liked what I've read, um, the Pearl and Naomi. Yeah. I've even liked his Superman. I know some people yeah. didn't haven't read his yeah. Justice League run. I read a lot of his Marvel stuff. Yeah, um, well, uh, well, let me ask you this: uh, mm -hmm. in Pulse, the second book we read. There's secret. Wait, is it Secret War? Yeah, Secret Forever? War. Is that also correct. by Bendis? That's also by Bendis. Correct. Okay, I have. Mm -hmm. I got to read that on the Marvel Unlimited app. Yeah, and that was fun too. Yeah, I need to read that because there's a ref. It's all about Secret War, and I was like, uh, Yeah, <laughs> what? Uh, what's happening? Going right. on here, Roberto? You are just a professional hater. Stop that. <laughs> Can't stay for too long. Just want to remind my fellow nerds to to stroke that like button. Yeah, that's, that's right. a good idea. Hit the like button, buddies. Thank you. Um, yeah, Alias is one of the first small runs I ever read when I started comics in like 2016. And did I already show this? It's my favorite Bendis book besides Daredevil. Yeah, his Daredevil's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. And he did have a pretty remarkable streak when you think about Daredevil and Alias and Ultimate Spider-Man. He also um, did the new Avengers run. The new Avengers run. I'm looking. He did the first Spider-Man Miles Morales book. Mm -hmm. Um, what what else has he? Uh, uh, what am I not thinking of? In terms of Marvel books, or yeah, sure. Um, like when Mar when Bendis like ruled the Earth. <laughs> I mean, he did the Secret Invasion run. Uh, well, oh, that okay. Run. He did the event. Um. And then he started to lose a little steam, I think, when he took over X Men, when he did the all new X Men, and he brought back the uh, the young oh. cast. Well, he he had them time travel, <laughs> so that's where I guess a lot of people lost steam or they ran out of favor. So okay, yeah, I do see. Um, I don't have my glasses on, so Bendis's <laughs> name is on the other Spider Man book, uh, right. the Miles Morales Spider Man book. Mm -hmm. If I squint really hard, I can see. <laughs> Brian Michael Bendis as Freddie and Iku both point out. Okay, well, I'm not going to argue with that. Tomasi <laughs> Superman was awesome. Right. But it's weird okay. because I read the Daredevil run. I read his Daredevil run and I became a fan. But for some reason, I never went and read Alias. It's and been it, sitting on my shelf yeah. forever. Yeah. And it, it took you to say, hey, let's read it. And I was like, done. <laughs> let's do yeah, it. Yeah, I'm glad we could do it. <laughs> um, because, yeah, it has been a book that I don't know. It was a, I got it just as it became a whale. And then it was a whale for a long time. A while, yeah. A while. And uh, I, I don't know where it is in the reprint cycle. Maybe it's available <laughs> now. Maybe it's a not. Maybe it's not. I think it is. I think it still is. Um. Does Pulse have a hardcover? See, that's what I couldn't find. I couldn't find the Pulse uh, collected, uh, the complete collection. So oh, this I, I was just, out of print? Yeah, or? I just... I, somebody was selling it for ridiculous amounts on eBay even. Oh, for oh, okay. Yeah. Well, so I just read it digitally. I, I This has been sitting on my shelf almost as long as yeah. Alias is. <laughs> yeah, and I could not find did, that for It did no. make me want to read the three other thin Jessica Jones trades, which mm -hmm. was pointed out to me. One's by Bendis and two are by Kelly Thompson. Yeah. Um, 
And so I want to read those next just as part of my own. Okay. Freddie says, yeah, I've seen the alias Omni still available. Pulse only has complete collections. So um, uh, yeah. we don't have a hardcover for it. Are you guys fans of Ennis's Punisher Max? Have you read Garth Ennis's Punisher in I have not. forms? I have not. So well, the only Punisher that I've read um, was the um, Jason Aaron. Oh, that's such a brutal good run. Yeah, it's really that's good. probably the scariest Bullseye I've ever read. Ever, and Bullseye is like one of my favorite villains. And he, that's been you know the way he did it is amazing. I also oh. like, I also like Bullseye in a uh, Old Man Hawkeye. I don't know if you read that. Uh, I haven't read Old Man Hawkeye. Okay, I've read a lot that. of Old Man Logan, but I haven't read all Old Man Hawkeye yet. Okay. I have it, but I haven't read it. It's pretty good. I enjoyed it. Okay, good. Uh, mm -hmm. Taylor Talk says, The Alias Dominus just got a reprint. It's still in print everywhere. Likely organic prize books. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> um, organic prize books where my code is Omnidog and Taylor was referencing, okay, to code Omnidog for $2 off your order, 5% off shipping, three books or more together, Omnidog, ship it together. I used that the other day and I saved real money. That's yeah. a big saver. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. You, Jess, the 2016 Jessica Jones runs has three Bendis trades. After that, there's the Thompson stuff. Okay, so I'm missing two Bendis trades. So there's five thin Bendis trades. Hmm. I mean, five Jessica five trades. Jones trades. I'm so curious now about the Kelly Thompson run. Oh, I really like those. I yeah. believe they were digital only and then got moved oh. over to, to trade. They're very skinny, but okay. they're really awesome. I'll have to read that. Um yeah, I since I that that sounds like Bendis, I should read those trades that I don't have on Marvel Unlimited, and then I have the other ones physically. Thank you, Iku. Uh chat is always eager for me <laughs> to inform me of what I don't know. Uh calling again for the kaiju score from Aftershock for a future corner crime corner. Awesome high story. Got to interview the author James Patrick ahead of it, the release of its sequel, and he's great. The Kaiju score. Kaiju score. Hmm. That means we have to buy it because I don't think, well, we could do comiXology. Yeah, we could see if it's available. Yeah. Available. Um, I'm not opposed. I like Kaiju as mm -hmm. much as the next guy. I have Kaiju Max, so that's cool. It also doesn't take me much to just hear a recommendation and just go buy it. <laughs> 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 okay, now I know we were meant for each other because, of course, that's how I got uh, started in all this. I'm just like, oh, that book's good? Okay, and yeah. I would just buy it. And yep. I ended up covered in books. Same, same. Well, a lot of your early videos, when I first discovered you, got me in trouble, so. <laughs> I, I got in trouble for a lot of those early hauls, I know. Right, right. Oh, Natural Bridge. Where did you find the Essex County slipcase? Oh, jealous. That is a pretty rare bird. Because yeah. <laughs> there's a bird on the cover. <laughs> I won't have to steal yours anymore, Jess. Well, I didn't know you had your eyes on mine. <laughs> mine aren't in the background like Kristen's are. Yeah. Yeah, that's a book I would love to have. The slipcase cover. The slipcase edition for sure. Yeah, and then I'm trying to think who I know that has the like 1 in 50 that has the hockey card in it signed oh, wow. by jeff lemire of of the main character i can't remember the name i forget the name too yeah yeah but um i think there was only one in 50 and somebody has that wow uh the secret about the kaiju scores it's not really about kaiju as a subject it's a pure great high story that used kaiju as the backdrop interesting mm, this sounds like <laughs> i might need to get it yep bunk master you're not good for our health <laughs> Uh, and Freddie says, yes, and the ending is fantastically pleasing in the last Bendis trade. Kelly Thompson retconned it, but it was okay because she's awesome, which is true. Uh, wait, following up on Essex County. Paid a little more than retail, but definitely not a bad deal at all on eBay. Jumped uh -huh. on it quick. Wow, good for you. That I would think that's a book that would go for like $200 on yeah. eBay or something. Joe Cool is here. 
Uh, hey, Jess or Joe, have you read Jonah, Jana, and the Impossible Monsters? And if so, it's meant for kids, right? I have not. I have it based on the recommendation of Kelly Lou yeah. um, DeConnick um, from Omni Bros, who's it was like his book of the year last year. Yeah, it was. But I haven't read it yet. I think it's meant for kids. I know it's right outside the door, but it's in a giant stack of books <laughs> that needs to be filed. And uh, I'm not willing to have everything topple over on me to go look for it. <laughs> but I believe it's for kids. I think it's a young adult uh, novel. Yeah. And book two, the second trade just came out, I believe. Right. Good. You're an information source, buddy. That's what I like. <laughs> Lou LaBeouf, no relation to Shia. <laughs> Funny. That's the guy. That's the hockey player in um, Essex in, County. In I don't know if Lemire will do another hardcover edition of some sort for Essex County. When the TV show comes out, I will believe that TV show when I see it, because I think it's been optioned for 85 different right. companies now. But um, maybe it sounds like it's really going to come out. That would be great. Mm hmm. Joe, I think I know why you join Crime Corner. So when daughter beginning <laughs> dating, you can take care of her boyfriend in one way or another. It's a good idea. Uh, Freddie says, Aku, I've read the first one. And yes, it is. It's good stuff, but really short. And that's John and the Impossible Monster from this comment. Right. Okay. And then Aku thanks him. Blah, blah, blah. Good, good, good. Um did I say Joe Cool was in the chat? If yep. I did, I'm saying it again. <laughs> um, okay, so. <clears throat> Jeff Lemire already announced it. She's show running it on CBC. She who? Who's she show running it on CBC? What is that? Canadian Broadcast <laughs> yeah, Corporation? Sure oh, he's show running it. Yes. What's CBC? What is that? Uh, well, he's from Canada, and oh. I think that's the Canadian broadcast thing. Lemire just gotcha. announced the other day that Essex County TV show is coming out in winter 2023. They've all ever been filming it, and Lemire, Lemire is the showrunner. Well, the chat is actually quite full of good information today <laughs> because it's uh, I'm only on, running on about half brain capacity <laughs> right now. Uh, anyway... <laughs> So let's talk about the first book we read, and that is Alias, which sat on our shelves for so long. Joe, uh, had you had you you haven't read this before? Nope. Did, did you see the TV show at all? I did, but I couldn't finish it. I couldn't either, man. When we got to the Purple Man, which I guess the whole season's about, I was like, I'm gonna have to come back to this. This yeah. is too brutal. Yeah, so it was. Um, so the first season, I thought was great, um, and Purple Man creeped me out. Just that ability alone, yeah, freaks me out a little bit. He's one of the scene, scariest villains, I think. Yeah, especially the scene where he's having dinner at the house, and I think the kids are in the closet. And yeah, I was like, and he, this is just. Dark. He makes them wet themselves, yeah. and they don't show him yet. Right. It's really. So it was rare, and it just it creeped me out. Um, I was able, and this is gonna sound weird. I finished. I got all the way up to the final episode and I didn't watch the final episode. I don't know why. I just never got, I just never went back to it. Yeah. So I, you know, I'm familiar with Jessica Jones as I'm, you know, reading comics through the years. I knew she was yeah. a character, but I was never like, I need to seek her out or find out what her deal is um, up until now. And yeah. I, you know, now that Bendis wrote it, but for some reason never went back and read it and read it when uh, I was reading his Daredevil run. Did it? So, did this not come out at the same time as his Daredevil run? Uh, let's see. Well, I'm, I'm not curious. even going to look at it. I don't even chat. Know. Did this come <laughs> yeah, out chat, at the same know. time as his Daredevil run? <laughs> that sounds right. Because they they referenced the Daredevil run a bunch in this book. R right. In um, terms of him dealing with the secret identity stuff. So. Right. Yeah. Um, and she uh, was a bodyguard for Matt Correct. Murdock for a while in this book. Right. So. So what did you think of this um, book and if you can put it into words and what were some of your 
favorite parts and maybe some of your least favorite parts, if there were any, or what was, um, um, what were some of your impressions? Okay. So first off, just jumping back into the whole Bendis thing, um, you know, like the hot take in terms of that. I like, <laughs> I like his writing style. Um, in this particular book, more than I think is that I might now need to go back and reread his Daredevil run, but it just feels like his writing style. It feels like I'm actually seeing a conversation take place between multiple individuals. The way he ping pongs, it, it feels like an actual conversation going back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, so I love that. Um, so that was that was a joy to read. Um, just I like Jessica. I liked her being flawed. Um, I like her reasoning for not, you know, wanting to be in the superhero biz anymore. Um, she's just all around interesting. Um, he, he makes her very vulnerable and, yeah. and as you say, flawed and very interesting. And yeah. I'm trying to get to the conversation part that he establishes early on where she's right. at the top, just listening to her client <laughs> right. talk. And that's kind of a theme that goes through the book. Correct. There's another part where she's um, uh, um, interviewing with J. Jonah Jameson, mm -hmm. uh, and it's it's you can't well it's dialogue right that seems natural too. Mm -hmm. it, it does seem like very natural dialogue. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, um, to me anyway. Um, in in the the art in this particular part of the book. Uh, is really good when she's being asked to uh, come. Uh, oh, no, this is when she's uh, trying to find. Um, That's what he wants her to go uh, find, um, find out who Spider-Man is. Right, okay, right. Yeah. Be because later, uh, some kind of spider woman is in her apartment and right. that's a link to J. Jonah. Correct. And she has uh, some more things to do with him. So, for, and and I thought that, in particular, I thought that was, a, <laughs> yeah. I thought that was a, a really good run. But I also right. was like, who, what's <laughs> what are Speedball's powers? They're exactly? so wacky. I cannot. I don't really know. His I haven't read New Warriors. <laughs> I know that uh, that's Omar's favorite book. Right. Um, but like these these. <laughs> <laughs> all these bubbles are appearing all over the place and they seem to send somebody into a, <laughs> some kind of dream state that's yeah, illustrated here by, it looks like Mark Bagley. Yeah. Um, very odd. That character. I can never understand speedball. <laughs> and she, she, you know, eventually finds uh, Maddie who is being, yeah like spider woman three and, right. and it's being used uh as a human component of the mutant growth hormone which I was think. also very creepy too because they were like digging it out the of blood her. yeah like taking it right out of her um, i don't i guess they were like using her blood and cooking her blood to then inhale it or i i don't know but it was creepy and gross <laughs> yeah um, yeah yeah, but, uh, yeah, that was a so that was a cool story. Arc. I think my favorite arc had to be the the first one with the um the whole political back and forth with uh Captain America's identity. I thought that was fun uh, where they were kind of trying to blackmail her to out it to out his identity to the public. Right. Um, I didn't see that coming. Like the the end of the first, I think it was the first issue where she's filming him go into the apartment and then she's like, wait, he didn't leave out the front door. <laughs> right. You see him on the roof at like two 30 in the morning and she um, instantly stops recording. Um, yeah. And I, I, I appreciated the fact that it wasn't telegraphed ahead right. of time that the story was left to unfold and sort of similar, I guess, to the onion I think Jay Jonah Le Jay James yeah. referred to an onion peeling. Mm -hmm. the, the layers were revealed, and it wasn't like uh, an an easy guess as to what was happening, right. and or what she would do with it. Right. And um, they left a lot of clues too. With like, for instance, when she went back to the apartment, she was convinced that the tape was gone, and so she was like, "Why is it still here?" And then you know, obviously, you find out that they were trying to blackmail her into releasing this info. 
Um, and I like the reasoning behind this. I forget the guy's name, um, but it just reminded me like he is a corporate bigwig who, you know, wanted to have the president in his pocket and the president. Oh, oh right. And then yeah. it was so boss confronting him out on the golf course. Right, right. <laughs> where he was just swaggering away yeah. and then shield calls yeah. and says, run <laughs> right. for cover. Basically, right. We'll take care of this. Yeah, I love that. I I love that. Uh, was it um, Quartermain? Uh, yeah. Like, oh, we, we were listening the whole time. So don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> and if the chat is, I I feel like maybe the chats become disrespectful towards each other. Let's try and be nice to each other. Uh oh. I'm not following it as much, but uh, I'm not following as much because I'm having an actual respectful conversation with Joe. So. <laughs> Um, that's uh, okay. Everybody's cool. No offense. Uh, who does Speedball become? Aku. Uh, he becomes Penance. Penance. Who's that? He's a. Uh... So basically, he he's the cause of what happens in uh, Civil War. Like he's part of the the New Warriors that you know they they try to stop a crime oh the they're the reason oh the, and right. they're, they're the ones that set off civil war and so he feels he's he feels like he's one of the you know obviously the reasons why it happened so in order for him to i guess you know make amends he becomes this character penance where he's it's weird he just goes into a suit that i believe has if i remember correctly has needles on the inside ow so he's constantly in a state of pain to make up for what he did so that's why oh. he's named Penance. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, there's, I'm sure there's more to it that I'm missing, but yeah, he becomes Penance. Well, you know more than I do, which is <laughs> zero. I I forgot New Warriors set off. Uh, yeah. Or whoever was it? Was it New Warriors or or a... it was it was New Warriors um, that they went after a villain called I believe it was Nitro that blows okay. up, and he uh, I believe he blows up during their confrontation, and um, there was a school involved, and people uh, a bunch of people die. Okay. That, that starts to everything. Okay. Um, yep. So we have um, Jessica Jones, who's vulnerable and flawed, and for some reason, very likable, even in her drunken likeable. stupor state, mm -hmm. um, is very likable. I guess maybe because she is flawed and we can relate to her since nobody's perfect. We're all flawed in some way. And um, I, uh, one of the reasons I had trouble watching uh, Jessica Jones is of course I'm a recovering alcoholic. And so I had a lot of, um, I don't get really thrilled with shows that show a lot of drinking. Sure, that's, yeah. that's my own thing. That's yeah. not anybody else's problem. But right. she does do a lot of drinking in the bar with Luke at Luke's bar and stuff. So um, I, I had trouble with that. And the fact that Purple Man just creeped me the heck out. Yeah. I just <laughs> couldn't uh, couldn't keep it going. Um, right. I I liked every single story in here of varying degrees to awesome to fantastic. I Because... Right. Uh, now, I, I do feel sorry for Scott Lang because he sort of got <laughs> jobbed around. Yes. But that's um, why there's a uh, in that in that date issue where they they went out on a date. Yeah. A perfect example of what I meant when um, as I'm reading Bendis writing, he has like he, I think he it was the panel where he has Scott on one side, Jessica on the other. And they're just ping ponging back and forth in their conversation. And it felt like I'm this is a real conversation. Um, it's just well written. Yeah. yeah, was something like that. It, it's like a full page. Let me see. Oh, it's a full page, page where they're yeah. facing each other. Yeah, they're facing each other. Yeah. Okay. Um, it was very well done. But yeah, I thought it was. I thought their relationship was always funny. That's it. Yeah. Um, and I like how Carol sets them up, which was pretty funny. Um, yeah. So that I I like that that was like a one off issue. The Jane mm -hmm. Jonas Jameson issue was kind of a one-off, but then plays dividends later on in the book. Right. Um, so yeah, that's it's just what this and then the Rick Jones arc. I'm not too familiar with Rick Jones. I I wasn't I wasn't either, except that I knew he was uh, well, I, I guess you have to read more Hulk than I have right. to really know Rick Jones very yeah. well. But that didn't hinder me 
really at all, especially when I found out the real, well, I mean, we're talking about it, so it's okay if we spoil it. When we yeah. find out that it's not even really Rick Jones, it's no. a Rick Jones impersonator. Yeah. And who wants to impersonate Rick Jones? He's, <laughs> <laughs> that and that's so where it was, it was it was we i was weeded out because i was like he kept performing these shows and was saying and like can they just not go and pick this guy up yeah <laughs> like it, it, he's broadcasting where he is when he does these shows and then it turns out oh yeah he's just in you know, like who was it i think it was shield that said oh we know all about this guy or was it jarvis i forget who it was the avengers or shield saying yeah we know that that guy exists and he's been doing this for a while so it was kind of weird are you are you jamming me up for being an alcoholic, Candace, and not like watching shows that remind me about my alcoholic past? Because if so, that's I think that's I love you, Candace. I love having you in the show. But I but if that's what that is, I, that's completely not cool. So I prefer you to walk that one back. You don't have to leave the chat by any means, but. It's complete. Natural Bridge gets it. He's recovering too. It's oh, okay, well, okay. I'm giving you a chance. What what are we talking about? Because <laughs> I'm not following the chat 100. percent I thought somebody was fighting and they weren't. People were making jokes. Okay, Candace, what what were you talking about? The gastric bypass thing. Uh, um, 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 I can't take all this controversy on the first show. Jeff. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Tell me what you were talking about, Candace. We're going to focus on <laughs> you right now. Um, and yes, I know I'm supposed to be watching Stranger Things, Joe. Yeah. I, Joe got, I got I got really that. Good. I got uh, uh, that told forcefully to me by Internet <laughs> bully Kristen yesterday, who insisted that I watch it. And I'm supposed to watch Morbius. And I know uh, for tomorrow... Um, for tomorrow's Omni Bros. When are you going to watch that, Jess? I don't know. I I, do, I actually don't have a show at four o'clock today. Oh, okay. Uh, because uh, Tyler's daughter is not feeling well. Oh no. Um. So he's uh, he and Max and I aren't doing it. So I, okay. I guess I could watch it this afternoon. But here's Taylor telling us Rick Jones has a rich history in Marvel, especially the Silver Bronze Age. He should be one of the most important. Uh, mm characters in marvel okay <laughs> here's call me colt top colt 45 so good to see good to see kess and joe um i can't forget morbius because lou's bullying me into watching us <laughs> okay whatever uh aku and candace have worked everything out <laughs> i don't know what's going on in the chat i don't think i'm gonna look at the chat anymore i'm gonna hide the chat okay good um james if you're still in there you're the moderator keep the kids in line i just hit the chat because it was making me confused um uh okay so um did you mm -hmm. the art is a little bit different uh by what is it michael gatos is he does he do the whole book he, i don't think he does the whole book but i believe he does the majority of the book and he's got um it's it's a lot of faces that he does with a yeah. lot of um like up here yep uh a lot of solid lines solid black lines just outlining the facial features and stuff yep um it, it, it's a lot of this kind of stuff a lot of just faces right. that he does it's not they're very i feel his expressions are really realistic mm -hmm. expressions right um here's you know, yeah, just yeah, flipping yeah. out. Yep. <laughs> um, and, and here's uh, her with her sort of intern pest right. high school guy that, keeps which I thought was also fun. I thought he was fun as well. Yeah. So he, he doesn't. Um, he he does a lot of facial features. Some, you know, mm -hmm. of course, a lot of action stuff, but mostly facial stuff. Right. And um, and I what, guess that's what. Because what, what, did you like the art? Were you I did. Fan? I think it, it I think it worked well because it definitely felt, you know, this is a crime book and it had that gritty feel to it. Um I'm not gonna lie though, when Bagley would jump in from time to time to show her when she was uh was it Jewel? Yeah. It kind of was like a little offsetting because it got really colorful and really bright and and I love Bagley. Yeah. Kind of and I understand the reason I understand why they did it, but it was a little 
it was a little weird. <laughs> it, it did look a little cartoony when he yeah. jumped in. And if you read Ultimate Spider Man, it all looks like that, but it all makes sense. Right, in it all fits. Yeah, but but yeah, I and I'm not familiar enough with the Avengers that I ever read mm -hmm. her as Jewel in any Avengers, yeah, so I don't know what specifically led up to her breakdown and to, for right. her to quit the Avengers. So it may not be important. Mm -hmm. It's not important in context of alias because alias is just alias. Right. It's a self-contained, she's a p private investigator mm -hmm. and um, she has her reasons and, and they sort of come out in the book. Right. Um, and, she, and as far as crime corner goes, that's why we reviewed it because she's a PI and gets hired to solve um <laughs> yeah. the, the stuff she gets hired to solve um <laughs> sometimes there's not a crime that's been committed like the missing girl right or the um oh and then oh here's uh, speaking of the art mm -hmm. then, then there's i i guess um uh david uh mac Mm -hmm. did the covers right there's the cover for the book mm -hmm. and then this whole i maybe... yeah where they kind of go into her origin where she knew peter parker in school and stuff yeah i yeah. need to i need to look and see first what the heck issue this is 22 mm -hmm. and let me see who did that if it said it was after ditko hey 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 why is this not coming up because I know that it says who does the art in various right. things. Art Gatos, Sidekick, Jewel Sequence 12, Mark Bagley. Okay, so I guess that Gatos does it in the style of um, Steve, Ditko, Steve Ditko in here. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we have Bendis him, himself... Uh, which I always think is funny. That is, I, I forget that he, he draws. I forget about that. Well, we have Bendis himself in... Um, oh, in the issue. In the issue, yeah. yeah. What if issue. Like, Correct. what if Jessica had not left right. the Avengers mm -hmm. and she actually solved... What if Jessica Jones joined the Avengers? Right. And he's... I don't know who he's talking to, but yeah. I always dig it when I see... Bendis in his own comics yeah. <laughs> narrating the story. Right. I just think that's kind of a fun um I think Yeah, he ends of, up getting married to Steve Rogers. Yeah, too. and and stopping the Scarlet Witch from nuking the Avengers. Right. And just a sidebar on Scarlet Witch. Yeah. I her her MCU portrayal is completely different than her portrayal in comics. Yeah, for sure. Up, up to a point because she nukes all the Avengers enough to the point where there have to be new Avengers. Right. And then, and she also is responsible for saying no more mutants. No more mutants. <laughs> right. This woman's like <laughs> needs to be spoken to carefully in yeah. the, in the Marvel comics. Mm -hmm. She has way too much power and way too much instability yeah. for all that power, yeah. the way they write and draw her mm -hmm. and, and I and I of course love Elizabeth Olsen as a Scarlet Witch, so I think they do a good job with her in the MCU. Right. Um, and I thought James Robinson did a good job with her in in the Scarlet Witch book that he wrote. But mm -hmm. but they they seem to use her as a no. This is what it is. They yeah. they sort of use her as a way to reboot books. Like they do. I was I book? was about to say that they have they use her as a reset button. Yeah, yeah. At the, which now I feel kind of bad for saying she needs to be spoken to because obviously it's the way she's written. Right. How can we get a new book? Oh, well, let's just bring in Scarlet Witch and we'll right. have it wipe out something uh, yep. based on her kids not being there again. And, right. Yeah, uh, she seems like she's going to be forever as a, as a reset button when they need it anyway. Yeah, I hope that's done with now that I've just thought of that. Right. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to gently see if I can go back to the comments. <laughs> I, uh, think that, oh, I think everybody's behaving. Okay, good. There's Cycle Cleveland. What's slapping my dudes? There's Max. 
Um, do, 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 alias is first appearance. Her as Jewel is a bit of a wreck on and not the first last time we get a past hero. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad I came back here. Um, <laughs> uh, we're hidden. Go say whatever you want. Um, Rick go, uh, Jones gets a bit important importance as a bomb and then his hacker super brain phase in Spencer cap at Taylor talks. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to disagree with this. I'm just saying it's a <laughs> viewer opinion. Um, this book goes so well with DD by Bendis. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, it does. Since, since she is in both books as being his uh, bodyguard. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's, uh, that is cool. I, I read, uh, I read Daredevil, I think, last year, the Bendis and uh, that other writer, Brubaker. Brubaker, uh, yeah. I read uh, both of those. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that uh, as far as future crime corners, I'm, yeah, I'm going off on a tangent here. <laughs> are, you, are you more of a Marvel reader or do you read DC at all? I will read anything. That doesn't, I don't care. That is a great, yeah. thing for you to say because <laughs> I was saying yesterday that I needed to read 100 Bullets yep, and Scalped which are both crime yep. books and I'm sure there's other crime books that we can think of we in the chat can riff off of can you show that Ditko inspired art again uh, yes why don't you uh Let's see where it is. It's in the yeah. I read uh I read the first um maybe the first fifty issues of Hundred Bullets, but this was years ago. So I would love to go back and read that. Okay, good. Yeah, because I I keep um I'm gonna wait. No, this is this is not the Ditko part. Here's the Ditko part. The after Ditko part. Let me just hi highlight myself real quickly to show. This is the after Ditko stuff about how she had a crush in high school uh, with Peter. Uh, with about yeah, it was just funny that she had a crush on Peter. Yeah. <laughs> I know this was an awkward scene where her yeah. brother catches her. Yeah. It's, yeah, uh, it's very weird. But um. But, the, uh, but this also shows what happened to her parents and how right. she gets bounced around from foster home to fo yep. foster home. So, yeah, they show a little bit of her origin story. Yeah. Uh, and this is also true. Brubaker Indie Crime is honestly the best out there. I need to finish Criminal. If I read the first book, I got to go back to it. Uh, uh, that might be a good assignment for us to read yep. all three criminal books or one criminal book or. I'll read all three. Three and Cruel Summer. And... I just figured you and Taylor, you and Tyler would have uh, read that. Um, I, or Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Um, I don't think we covered it. No, I, we we may have covered Criminal Book Three. Okay, but this is a new era, Joe. You need to embrace it and make I, it your own. I will embrace it. I will read everything. This is another another reason why I want to be on the show is because it fuels me to read more. Yeah, exactly. I Me too. It. I love it. Re too. Natural Bridge, Criminal is the best. Uh, criminal is the best. Yeah, I'm a big uh, fan of that first book, the first Criminal, uh, the hardcover. I loved it. Uh, and it's been so long since I've read the first two that mm -hmm. I mean, I read three when it came out, mm -hmm. um, and I need to go back and read the first two. Um, that I mean, any Brubaker, Phillips stuff, or. Uh, or Velvet, which I think is Steve Epting. Um, yeah. uh, any of that stuff that you want to read. I mean, we could read Lazarus by Greg Rucka. That's mm -hmm. not crime so much as war. Right. <laughs> but um, we could read uh, anything you want to. Uh, so just be giving it a thought as to. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, I mean, Black Widow, spy espionage type stuff. I have all the t t uh, Kelly Thompson books, so. That's something yeah. we oh, good. Read. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Um, Black Cat, she's, you know, a super thief. And, yep. um, well, I can't think of a reason to read Captain Marvel by Kelly Thompson, except for the fact that it's great. <laughs> Not for right. this show, but right, you right. should be reading. People should be reading it. 
Um, in terms of Black Cat, are you talking about the the later her latest run? Because I hear great things one. about it. Yeah, I yeah. that's um, Captain Marvel by Kelly Thompson, Black Widow by Kelly Thompson, and then Black Cat. I think is by Jed McKay. Okay, those are the only ones I'm continuing to collect in paperback. Gotcha. I'm trying to not uh, um, collect any more trades. Um, as I'm as I'm trying not to accumulate so much mm -hmm. stuff, but I'm I'm gonna finish out the runs that I started. Right. So yeah, the latest Black Cat is is really good, and I'm and I can't think of where I just mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of who the three were that were named as having some kind of latent mutant power, and Black Cat's one of them. That this is where I get. Hmm. I, I can go back on my Goodreads and see where what I read. Okay. But I read where there were three thiefy guys like Gambit and Black Cat and some other. It, so it must have been X-Men. Right. Where, um, where it named Black Cat as having some type of ability. She's not. It's. I feel like they, they labeled her almost like a mutant. But Oh, really? That's I don't have it in front of me. Maybe the chat knows. Um, uh, maybe the chat knows uh, what I'm talking about because I feel like she was referenced with a couple of other characters as having this either inhuman or mm -hmm. mutant ability, like a little bit enough just to get away with stuff. Right. Um, uh, oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Domino, where they both just get lucky wow. all the time. Gotcha. Thank okay, you. Yeah. Call me Top Colt. <laughs> Colt. Um, yeah, that Domino series is a really good series. Good? I okay. loved it. That. Thank you, uh, Top Colt. Uh, Forty-five. Um, that. Yeah. That. Do, that's right. It's. It's their mm -hmm. mutant ability to be lucky. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Look at you. <laughs> um the fuse i've read uh some of the i read the first book of the fuse that's a really good crime series okay um black sad is of course great anthropomorphic crime solver right I'll read um that. matt is I hear great things about that yeah it's great um matt says we need to read scalped and i totally agree um freddie's asking a question did you get east of west no, I have not. I can't find those books anywhere. I think somebody posted them in a Facebook group. Um, I re I think I might have reached out, but I never heard back. So mm. I'm looking for the three hardcovers right now, but I can't okay. find them. I can't find them. Yeah. Um, I think you guys. Oh, long shot might have been the other one. Yeah, it might have been. I think you guys need to cover Daredevil by Miller. It's early crime noir comics. I'm always up for reading Frank yeah. Miller. Um, Daredevil. Uh, I'll so, read anything Daredevil. So Yeah. I'm a huge. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. I think when I think about it, I think Spider-Man and Daredevil are the ones I have the most books of from Marvel. They're clearly yeah, it's Daredevil for me, for sure. Yeah. It's they're clearly my favorites. Uh, well, I have a lot of Deadpool too. Which, of course, I love him. Um, have you done Powers? I now that's Bendis. Have you read that? I did, but I I read it when it was coming out in floppies mm -hmm. years ago, and I know I I know I liked it when I was reading it, but I just stopped collecting floppies, and so yeah. And I, I would love to go back and read that. I'd, I'd love to get it in a cons consistent format because mm -hmm. I think they released a long out of print Omni mm -hmm. and then didn't do anything to finish right. it out. Like no volume two or three, because it has a lot of hard covers. I think, I think at one time I owned some of the hard covers or maybe I owned, uh, I don't know. I also am not the hugest fan of Michael Avon Lemming's art. <laughs> it's right. It's, it's an acquired taste. Um, Mm -hmm. But but I love the first uh, arc, which was like who killed uh, Power Power Girl or whatever it was. Yeah, or Retro who, Girl, something like that. Who killed this girl? Yeah, uh, <laughs> right. Now, do you think I, I'm assuming the format changes is because he's keeps bouncing from publisher to publisher, and they? I guess I don't know. Thinking. Okay, Iku is saying, yeah, they continued it in hardcovers. Okay, well, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any problem 
having an omnibus next to i don't even think i have the omnibus now that i'm saying it i have the crime noir omnibus mm -hmm. but i don't have the powers and that's out of print i know that yeah okay here's taylor talks comics saying powers will likely get library editions now that bendis is with dark oh, i hope so that, would, that i would be all over that and matt d okay two people say it and it's on the internet so it's true let's make that happen <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> um, I own these, Chris, my bro from yesterday. I own this book, uh, Streets of Paris, Streets of Murder. Um, I, uh, but I haven't read it. I have it. I have a couple of things by uh, Jack Tardy, Tardy, but I don't. I haven't read them yet. And Triscotti's asking me a life or death question. Have you read Scalp by Aaron? <laughs> Is it worth seeking out and maybe paying premium? Now, as soon as I tell you to go get it, they're going to announce an omnibus. Um, I have the Scalp Deluxe Editions. There's one, two, three, four, five. five right? I've only made it through volume two twice. I haven't, which is which is why I'm hoping we eventually assign it to each other. <laughs> yeah. So I actually read it. Um so I I don't know that I'd pay a premium on it, uh, Triscotti, because that seems like a prime candidate for um, DC to to omnify. Yeah, so, don't throw a black label on it. Yeah, I would sort of wait a little bit on that. Hmm. I personally would, unless you're dying to read it and you want to pay premium, <laughs> or or. You could do the DC Infinite app and read some there. Yeah. Um, uh, read some there and see if you like it. Mm, okay. Uh, let's see. Some of Bendis's other work will be put in that formula format too. Um. I did enjoy it. It's Matt. It's one of those things where I don't, I don't know. Something took my attention away from me. Uh, something took my attention away from the book and I just never got back to it. At this point, I'm going to have to start it all over again, um, <laughs> which is fine. It's just five books. But um, I remember this was back in uh, so long ago that Steve from third eye comics my comic store that I go to in Annapolis mm -hmm. and he knows comics. He was saying at the time that scalped was the best thing out there back when it was coming out. And I was like, it is, I have that book. And he's like, <laughs> Oh, this Jason Aaron, he can really write. And I'm like, who? Jason, who? <laughs> I, um, is, am I not mistaken? That's the book that kind of put him on the map, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And then he went over and, we did Thor to, to my delight. Now, do you think uh, DC will wait for him to possibly not be at Marvel exclusively anymore before they do an Omni? That's a yes. good question. I'm not sure how publisher politics plays in this. People yeah. seem to feel like Bendis is not... Because Bendis went over to DC, Marvel's not will no longer... Uh, reprint or do right. anything for bendis at marvel and so maybe they think that since jason aaron's such a big deal at marvin marvel now right that they wouldn't uh, give him an omnibus you know that's a good question i don't know what politics are like between the publishers it's, right and then again dc their collective editions department is all over the place so who knows yeah. they probably don't even know <laughs> Oh, okay. Cycle says is scalped on the DC app. Most Vertigo creator stuff st uh, isn't. Okay, uh, I don't know. Good question. Yeah, uh, I don't what trust the guy with two first names. <laughs> that's Jason Aaron. <laughs> that's what happens with uh, the Mac stuff, right? You can't you can't read it on the Marvel uh, the Marvel app. Oh well, that makes sense because yeah. it's. I mean, the number of f bombs in yeah. Alias even. <laughs> yeah. Even Bendis himself says, I effing love the F word or whatever he says <laughs> right. in his one of his things. And we need to yeah. talk about the book I said I wasn't going to read and well, then read it in an hour and a half on it was Friday great. night. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Yeah. Um, the art's completely different because it's mostly by 
Bagley. Bagley, right? Yep. And it's Jessica Jones when she goes um, to work for the um, the pulse part of the Bugle, right. the Daily Bugle, which is um, keeping an eye on superheroes. Um, but it it's also the mostly the love story of uh, Luke and Jessica, Luke right. Cage. It also does a boss ass job of bringing down the Green Goblin. I will yeah. say, he was they, creepy in that. Yeah, yeah. Where especially they, when he was confronted by the reporter and he just snaps. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, it, or the artwork is, is amazing. Was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. Her, her body is what's found is in what's the way found that floating. Leads correct. To, yeah, that leads them to to put everything together. Yep. Um. So the. Um, the only thing that I didn't, uh, and I think you and I talked about it, mm -hmm. um, is that I didn't understand was the secret war, secret war stuff stuff. I mean, I followed it because Luke was in the hospital. Luke went missing. They were right. both in the hospital. Luke went missing. Danny Rand went missing. Right. And it was because of Nick Fury's secret war. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I so now I need to read Secret War yeah. on uh the app. Yeah, you can read on the app. I remember a bunch of the major points from Secret War. Um, like you know, that happening to Luke and so on. I remember um reading for the first time because I never thought about it, like when they took Luke to the hospital and they were trying to like put needles in his skin and yeah. uh, they could not do it. Yeah. So I was I was blown away by that, and it was something as simple as that. Uh, they can't they can't perform normal surgery on a guy with unbreakable skin. Makes sense. Yeah, so I was a little that was a little cool. Um, but yeah, that that book has some fun. They had that one issue with Hawkeye uh, coming out of House of M. Um, it was just one issue, so if you were not familiar with House of M, you could skip it or uh, read it. With uh, Hawkeye. Okay, wait. With Hawkeye. Yeah. Okay. Now I did just read this a day and a half ago, so I could completely be forgetting it. Right. That's like Freddie says in the chat. He Hawkeye remembers being from another world, so he's kind of put off by this. Hawkeye remembers from being from the world. I didn't get it at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, wait a sec. Um yeah, he uh, confronts he re he confronts a reporter that's in one of the one of the rooms there, and he's like just hovering on top of like file cabinets. He shoots, I think he like shoots her clothes with arrows to pin her up against the wall to to interrogate her. What the heck? I don't remember. Okay, wait. <laughs> what what issue was that? Uh, okay, let me see. The, I might have it. There's the secret war it. one. Okay, that made sense. There's a green goblin. Uh. Spider-Man, Ben Urich. Wait a minute. Good, good. Uh, How's one through nine? Why am I not? Uh, it is. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, I'm sure as soon as you bring it up, yeah, <laughs> I'll remember. All right, it is issue number. Issue number ten. Issue number ten. Okay, wait a sec. Okay, 13. Let's go back to 10. Okay. There's 11. Okay. Furies. Oh, Secret War. Oh, okay. It was yeah, something so about Secret War. Danny taking care of you. Wait. Okay. Danny. Luke. Wolverine. Something. Wolverine. Wolverine. <laughs> Hawkeye, where are you? <laughs> What the, I don't remember reading Hawkeye. How, Is it not in the collected? Oh, okay. That's nine. Wait a minute. Nine. There's Wolverine. You'll find him. Oh, no. Ten isn't in here. Ah, this is so. This is the cover for it. Oh, okay. That's why I didn't read it because I didn't yeah. read it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, but it's a it's a House of N uh, tie-in, so it doesn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't even think Jessica is in it. Okay, so cut it out. I didn't read it. It wasn't in it. Just everybody relax. <laughs> Issue 10 is not in this complete collection. I just saw it. Okay, so it's a House of M thing, but Jessica's yeah. not in it? 
I don't think Jessica's in it. Okay. I don't remember uh, her being in it. I, okay. I remember Tim Hulk guy just showing up to interrogate one of the reporters um, in this new House of M reality. And he's like, he remembers being from someplace else. This is all weird to him. Uh, yada, yada, yada. And then it, it just it's just one issue, one and done. Um, okay. You know, coming out of House of M, that's it. Okay. Uh, Rodimus Prime Rib is saying something to you at 301. At 301. See, I am Spanish. I don't particularly read it well. <laughs> oh, I well, you said corazón in the comment yesterday. I was like, oh, Joe's bilingual. Yes, that's my, that's what I, like, I, I could throw words at you. One word. <laughs> <laughs> this is a full on <laughs> sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. I, uh, la, la esquina del crimen ha vuelto. What, uh, somebody translate what he's saying there. I know he said uh, oh, the corner. The corner is back. Crime. Yeah. Okay, so we are <laughs> la esquina del crimen. Is there <laughs> supposed to be an accent there or something? <laughs> crime corner is back. Okay, Rodimus, I like it. <laughs> A lot. Um, okay, uh, so me Top Gun wants to know where I'm from. I am from New York City, sir. Born and raised, mm -hmm. which I thought was exotic because <laughs> I'm from the beach in Carmel, California, Northern California. And I was like, Ooh, New York City, the city that never sleeps. And Joe's like, eh, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love it, but it's not, eh. it's okay. <laughs> Do I have, I, I did speak Spanish in high school, I did take a lot of Spanish. Uh, so I, I can actually fake a decent Spanish accent. The A is missing an A. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> Rodimus just keeps getting more and more interesting. <laughs> it's why the collection is called Jessica Jones, the Pulse. She isn't in the one issue, but they did add the annual. And I think the annual is where... Is the annual married. in that? Where they get married? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And she interrupts the ceremony that Stan Lee is presiding over, uh, to say her own words back to Luke and Luke's all worried. And she says in Jessica fashion, she says, no, I, this is, I'm not going to yeah. say these, yeah. <laughs> uh, these words. Um, now they also have the sentry in there and somebody called right. Elena black widow, who I assume is, uh, Yelena, um, the uh, sister portrayed by Florence Pugh right. in the movie, right? But in yeah, that's that's her in the in that comic. Um, right. That's what I also loved about you know Alias, and then going into the Pulse was just seeing um, Jessica and Luke's relationship. Yeah, throughout the whole thing, which was very cool. Like at first, they kind of standoffish. Um. And he has that he has that line where he's like confessing his love. I don't mean to get sappy in, in here, but <laughs> it's, <laughs> line where, it's your show. Where, Do whatever you want. <laughs> where he says the line about um, you know, he loved he knew he loved her when she was at her worst or she when she was going through things. And now that she's who she really meant to be, he's even more in love with her. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was just seeing that whole play out was really cool. Hey, that's not sappy. That's an interesting observation, buddy. <laughs> That's 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 good. I very, appreciate that. Very cool. Oh yeah, and he's accused of being a cape chaser. That's right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. It was like when she even said mentioned She Hulk. She was like, "Really, She Hulk?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very funny. Very funny. Um, I have the potential for Spanish. Freddie says I have the potential for Spanish. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Saludos, topospero que estés bien. Uh, Freddie taught me that it's uh, muy apreciado and not mucho <laughs> apreciado, as I sort of jokingly said it the other day okay. on Essential Editions. Um, so, yeah, I uh, I enjoyed this, too. Yeah. Because of how, you know, she's she's pregnant throughout most of it, if not all of it. Um, and um, I also like. Wait a minute. Oh no, that was in. Uh, I I like the part in. Um, I need. I just want to go back to. Um, 
I want to go back to uh, mm -hmm. Alias when Jessica Drew shows up, right, with the whole speedball thing, <laughs> and, <laughs> and and the poor girl that was the donor to uh, the, yeah Maddie Maddie yeah Franklin um, your names yeah uh, Maddie with two T's um, mm -hmm. I, I I liked Jessica Drew showing up because I really um, I like them uh, as I've seen them. Um, I, and I read so much that I get it mixed up where I've read them. I've read them somewhere recently together. Jessica Drew and Jessica Dr Jones. Oh, really? In something that I've mm -hmm. read recently. Um, uh, and, and I like them as friends and not because my name's Jess and, and I have a thing for Jessica's. I don't even know a single <laughs> Jessica. But I, I dig Spider-Woman and I dig um, Jessica Jones. So I like it when they're together like they were in that weird speed ball. <laughs> right. So weird. So weird. Do they ever explain, uh, cause even Jessica, um, Jessica Jones, uh, asked, uh, Maddie about, cause how she just appeared in her apartment and she said, Oh, they send me here. They never, they never touched base on that. Right? I never saw, just, like, no, there. they never did explain okay. it. That what, how she was, just in Jessica's apartment. Yeah. Right. She says that they, they sent, they, they told me to come here and we never get closure on that. Who was they? Right. So ah, look at Freddie's just a font of information. Captain Marvel by Thompson as spider woman, Jessica Jones, be friends. I knew it was something I'd read recently. Thank you, Freddie. Uh, <laughs> Hakim says evening. Just you entering another live show later today. Actually, I'm not because Tyler's daughter's not feeling well. And so Max and I are on hold for that um, uh, that toy show. Thank you. Oh, Rodimus said I did pretty good. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. Bendis wanted to write Jessica Drew, so you knew she was going to show up. Oh, okay, good. I think it's funny. I think he originally wanted the book to be Drew, but he noticed it was too distinct or an editor suggested it. Okay. Um up oh, Taylor <laughs> Taylor talks comics. <laughs> you speak Spanish too? <laughs> oh, you have a giant heart. You have a big heart. Yeah. Hi, Taylor, your last name's Mitchell. How where where are you coming <laughs> from? And that's Matter Eater Lad. He and he and I are fixated on Legion of Superheroes right uh, now. Okay. And Matter Eater Lad's power is he can eat anything. And I'm and that and bouncing boy. Are like the two oddest Legion of Superhero <laughs> characters. Like, how is Bouncing Boy actually going to help me in a fight? And what can Matter Eater do besides eat his way out of a jail cell? Oh boy! <laughs> so, That's a, well, didn't Bendis write uh, Legion at some point? Uh, I think he's writing it. I, is he writing it now? I think he is. I don't. I don't have any of those issues. And oh, of okay. course, I do have Young Justice by him, which I need to read. But I think he might be writing Legion right now, but mm -hmm. I'm still not caught up with the Scott Snyder justice. Gotcha. Once I read that, then I can go read uh, Death Metal mm -hmm. and get caught up in the DC universe. So I'm like uh, at about 2019 with my DC and only partially caught up on some of my Marvel. Right. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Also used to be a GM of a McDonald's with a crew that was more than 50% Mexican. Ah. Hey, guys, I tricked you. I'm actually Brian Michael Bendis. Ask me anything. Wait, what? <laughs> um, oh, Chris Brogan. Wait, where is Chris? He's got a picture of Gabby and... That's 23. That is oh, a yeah. cute picture. That's the one I thought they were eating a big hoagie yesterday, <laughs> and it's uh, Gabby's arm around X23. That's what it is. Um, uh, yes, there's two Bendis Legion trades. Okay. And now everybody's speaking Spanish in the chat. Oh, I, boy. <laughs> there's like actually a lot of Spanish <laughs> phrases in the chat. Uh uh, aquí todos es hablamos español parece. <laughs> Spanish spoken here? We all speak Spanish here? Mm -hmm. 
un perrito caliente, por favor, con mucho mostaza. Perrito, that sounds something caliente is hot. Por favor, is please. I don't know what mostaza or perrito. I don't know what mostaza is. What's perrito? Well, perrito and how I know it is a puppy or a small dog. I want a hot dog. My wife just yelled <laughs> mustard. With mustard. <laughs> I heard my wife from the bedroom. Oh, <laughs> mustard! <laughs> so cool, you win the chat today with that one. We both oh, came man. to it at the same time. <laughs> that is hilarious. Um, uh oh, and now Iku. Um, oh yeah, I saw. An, uh, I saw this. We're on tangents. The tangent part of the show now. Um, <laughs> I, I saw that um, about uh, it's called Pistol on Hulu. And I really somebody I saw an Internet review of it that wasn't good. Or I saw no, I saw an Internet review of it that was good. And then a P Washington Post review that didn't care for it. But that is right in my wheelhouse of when I started liking punk, when the Sex Pistols were just performing in like 1976 ish, <laughs> 77 live in London. That's what got me started. Um, oh, we have a celebrity in the audience. You should bring back your punk shows as the comic slayer. <laughs> um, thank you. Kristen. Um, yeah, uh, I, I definitely want to see this pistol show. Um, is it is it all six episodes have been released or just one episode, Brett? Brett is the guy that sent me that boss uh dread ba bra uh, badge that says uh, brag on it so brett's my buddy <laughs> you don't have to send me stuff uh well <laughs> this is a fact i will not even argue with this but i love them both listen to Kristen; she's always right uh if i even say that i'm gonna ro watch this pistol show she's gonna she's gonna go all stranger things on me so yeah you cannot do it jess um Hunter Rose, yeah, we, uh, Joe and I think, and I think maybe the chat said that this is out of print. print. But, um, well, Jess is sitting on a gold mine right now on that book. That's right. You can have it for five hundred dollars, <laughs> or whatever. Um, so I've got. Uh, oh, here's a compliment for you. Thank you, sir. I'm looking forward to reading more of this, more crime stuff. Yeah, why don't we try and figure out live and on the air right now what we want to read next? Oh, this is true. That Sid and Nancy movie has the best soundtrack. It is Gary Oldman was great. He performed um, the Sid Vicious song uh, and did it great. I mean, he sang just like Sid Vicious, but that soundtrack is remarkable. I only had it on a cassette tape. <laughs> and I lost my Walkman, which turns out it was in storage for 30 years, and I just found <laughs> it. But then I got the LP. But that I highly recommend um, that that um, soundtrack. Man, is it good! <laughs> oh, they released all six. Okay, well, I'm not allowed to watch it until um, I'm not allowed to watch it until I finish Stranger Things. Because no, internet no, bully you. comic slayer has um, told me so. <laughs> now, this is interesting. Have you read any of the Parker books, the Martini editions? I have both, but I have not read them yet. Oh, so. do you want to do that next? Let's do it. Read both of them? Yep. Well, there's our next crime Done. corner. Done. Yeah. There. Uh, <laughs> I see that Cycle Cleveland is asking us to read three <laughs> bullets about 55 times. Um, I Have you read that, Jess? I read it back in floppy form. Okay. Um, and I enjoyed it. It's 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 the first thing I think I ever read by David Lapham or Lapham Lapham. Right. Um it's it's brutal. It's in black and white. Right. It's 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 fairly brutal in the way that the purple man's brutal because it shows mm -hmm. like a total indifference. some of the characters show a total indifference to killing people gotcha uh it's also the first place where i ever saw the phrase cool beans is that a I phrase say, that you were familiar I, with i say that 
You do say cool beans. Okay. My daughter time. says that. And yeah. I was like, what? I only saw <laughs> stray bullets. How'd you come up with that? But apparently cool, cool beans are, is a phrase. Yeah. I've used it before. <laughs> okay. Um, Here's another book, um, because I'm a huge fan of Rucka, um, and I don't know if you've talked about it on the show before, but uh, Stumptown? Uh, now, your predecessor and I did do did, a yeah. review of it. Yeah. Cool. It just and, came to my mind because Rucka came to my mind. I was like, what did Rucka write? And oh, yeah. Anything about. Rucka, I'm totally down for. I love Rucka. I love Brubaker. I, actually, I love any crime comics you want to think of. Um, I have... Uh, the second Parker edition, I haven't read it yet. Okay. And I read yeah, the first one. Sorry? Let, yeah, let's do Parker. I'm okay, not. good. Because I read this the first one when it when I first got it. Mm -hmm. I think it was on the it was either just out of print or it was on the verge of going out of print, and I got it and read it. Mm -hmm. And then it was out of print, and now fortunately they put it back. Right. Brett says this Parker books might be my favorite books in my collection. Oh, perfect. I like the sound of that then. And Stumptown Fantastic and the show is phenomenal and still bummed it's canceled. Yeah, I heard that it um, I heard that uh, it ended on a cliffhanger and they never got to oh, resolve that's it. That's terrible. Yeah, that's what I see. This is why regular people need to own mm -hmm. like Disney and ABC. I would have looked at Stumptown and said, we're not canceling it right. after a cliffhanger like we did with. Um, Alien Nation, that great TV show from 30 years ago <laughs> on Fox. Um, the first show I ever watched on Fox. I think my wife and I were still living in our first house. So it must have been 1988 or 89. Blah, 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 blah. There needs to be normal people that, that right. want to approach it not from a dollar sense, but from a viewer viewpoint. Yeah. Right? Am I right? There's no, there's def there was definitely a following for it. And to just leave those viewers hanging, it's, it sucks. Oh. Right. Uh, Joe Cool is calling me out because I never found my Stumptown hardcovers. I still haven't found them. I know they're in the, the unfinished part of the basement. Um, we I, I had to buy the trades <laughs> because I couldn't find the Fakakta uh, hardcovers. Yeah. Uh, Comic Slayer is saying she loves Stumptown. Of course she does. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> Alien Nation needs a reboot. I if they just finished the, I loved all the scenes of Tinkton and stuff. Did you ever see Alien Nation? I knew about it, but I never watched it. Yeah, well, you're. I think you're a good deal younger than I am, so you were probably just a kid when it was on. Yeah, I, I forget when, when 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 was it on. I I remember seeing it. We Patty and I watched it together in our old house and we moved into this house in 1990. So that okay, was 32 it. years ago. Gotcha. 88, 80, I would say 89. Yeah. Um, so I was about 12. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, second Parker book is just as good as the first. Okay, good. Because I've, I've forgotten the first and I know it's done in a cool color palette, each story, but that's all I remember. Um, and Taylor is beating the drum for EC crime comics. It's really hard for me to go back to read Silver Age stuff. I'm assuming this is Silver Age stuff, right? The EC stuff? Or is that... The, the EC stuff that he's talking about was like pre... That's the stuff that cre helped create the comics code. Mm. That was like 50 through 53, I think, was the real heyday of EC. And then right. they switched to MAD. I have, I have a bunch of EC. I love EC myself, but then, of course, I grew up um reading reprints of ec mm -hmm. um it, it's really i mean the horror stuff is horrifyingly horrific it's, i'll give it a shot i'll definitely try it i i don't know about ec crime comics but mm -hmm. but ec comics the cool thing about them is they were always written with a twist at the end oh cool i like that they always have these really ghastly covers, which yeah. is what helped create the crime. I mean, the comics code authority and almost put Bill Gaines out of business. And then he created mad his testimony in front of Congress did not help because he was like a lunatic, gotcha. but he was also on speed at the time to lose weight <laughs> oh boy. back in the early fifties. 
I think he could get speed diet pills is what they were. And he was all hopped up on speed. Wow. Um, So, uh, and I'm not saying that as a, as a, Mm -hmm. a dig against him. I'm just saying he was. And so his testimony was pretty damaging and they had to stop publishing the horror comics and stuff. Um, and they switched to mad, but I don't, I don't know that there's an EC app or I, I don't even know who has, maybe dark horse has it now. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, I, I think it almost qualifies as golden age All because right. the silver age started with um, showcase four, uh, the return, the introduction of Barry Allen flash which I think was 1956 or 1954 in there. Mm-hmm. But, but that's the book that started the gold, the silver age was showcase number four. Okay. Um, uh, um, 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 okay. There is a dark horse app. So maybe does anybody, okay. There are EC comics on Hoopla. Do you have Hoopla? I do. Uh, no, Hoopla, I do not. Uh, for some reason, I can't get it in New York. Uh, it's tried. A, I had to go to a neighboring county to get it. I had to mm. go to, I live in Fairfax County. I had to go to, Fairfax County doesn't have it either. I had to go to Prince William County to open an account and get it. Don't read the Dark Horse Recolor Editions. Well, Cycle, stop yelling, first of all. You always yell. And <laughs> that may be the only thing we can uh, get our hands on is the recolored editions. I'll do some research right after the show and see. Okay. And here's sure. pretty much the ultimate compliment from Freddie. Freddie. Thank you, sir. More than qualified. Great guy and amazing fanboy. Approved for 500 more episodes. That's I what his contract it. calls for. <laughs> it's perfect. I uh, it. So I, we can, okay. So we're reading Parker next. Yep. And, you're going to uh we'll both research how we can get uh ec comics online or digitally yeah. somehow uh i have crime suspense stories one in hardcover but i mm-hmm. maybe i have two i don't know okay. um, we have 100 bullets also uh, to the list oh yeah and and scalped yeah those those should be our next three crime corners then Scout, uh, we'll do Parker, Parker next, Parker next, and then we'll figure out if we want to do scalped or 100 bullets next. Okay, and it'll work for me. Okay, good. Uh, are there any? Let me take a minute to promote organic price books where my code is Omnidog for two dollars off your order. Type it in all caps and then five percent off shipping. Three or more books together, I mean, I'll ship it together. <laughs> and I even used that. I even used that code myself to save money. Oh, and the kaiju score. We better. Um, it sounds really interesting. It does sound interesting. Yeah. The Manhattan Public Library offers Hoopla, according to Google. Really? Maybe they're the recent. Because I know uh, my daughter was big on reading um, digital stuff and she had tried it and for some reason it, we couldn't get it. So I'll, maybe they just, they did it recently. So I'll take a look. How far is Manhattan from you or are you in Manhattan? I, I am in Manhattan. Okay. Yes. So the part of you uh, where you live, that is Manhattan. Yep. I am <laughs> in, I'm in mid midtown Manhattan, midtown Manhattan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right next to the uh, empire state building. Oh my gosh. You really are in the city. Yeah. <laughs> yep even i've been there yeah i got i got uh vertigo for the first time when i went to the yeah. top of the empire state building yeah i was like whoa this is so cool you can see everything out there whoa. <laughs> yeah, don't look down. this tour's over <laughs> no thank you yep that was a long time ago okay good well the next time i come to new york city we're gonna have to hang oh absolutely because i think my wife and I want to come see uh, the music man on Broadway because I think Hugh Jackman's in it. I don't know how much longer he's going to be in it. And I don't want to see some substitute for Hugh Jackman. I want to see Hugh Jackman as the music man. Uh, So you should also come when the Mets are in town. So we can go check on a Met game. 
Oh boy, you are so right. I we went to a game mm. last. We've I've only been in one game at City uh, Field. Um, my daughter and I went. This is how long ago it was <laughs> for Uenis Cespedes bobblehead day. So oh, wow. <laughs> he was still with the team, and the team still liked him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so um, <laughs> that that was the last time I was there. Uh, my daughter and I had a blast in New York City. Um, I'm, I can even come up with my daughter. She yeah, uh, she likes to visit New York City. She's not she doesn't want to live there. She got a job offer mm-hmm. <clears throat> for New York City, and she okay, Roberto. Roberto, I'm gonna gotta time go you Roberto. out. <laughs> Forget you, kid. <laughs> I'm not even going to put that up on the. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm not putting that one up. That is a ridiculous statement. Stop it. Uh, that's you've got two Mets fans here. That's not the thing to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's sub Saboy- Is it Saboya or Sabola? Uh, that? Two L's together is sub- is yeah. Uh, it looks like he wants a hamburger. What's does your wife know what Saboya is? Is that cheese? No, cheese is queso. Uh, is that onions? I don't know. She I don't know. She can hear me now. <laughs> uh, so it's funny because my my parents speaks, well, my father speaks Spanish uh, all the time, and so that's he normally speaks to me in Spanish, and I answer him back in English. So I know exactly what he's saying. Okay. Like when it's when it's written and I have to read it, I'm like, uh, this is not working. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, it's really weird. Okay, it is onions. Good job with there extra onions. There we go. Uh, and Matt Kent stuff. Let's see. That is from Taylor Talks Comics. It is more spies espionage, but maybe crime adjacent. Mind management is good. I have the hard covers of that. I love Matt Kent stuff. That's definitely a consideration. Um, I think Joe has more time uh, since he has older kids. Taylor has uh, the minister of comics has two little kids. Yeah. And since you have two kids, you know what like a newborn and a almost three year old can be like. I wish That's... him luck. <laughs> <laughs> That's him running around. Plus he has a new, um, yeah, new, job. A new job that he's starting mm-hmm. in July. So he's got his hands full. Yeah. Um, so I think crime corner can be more regular. Um, Oh, I, I am think, all. I think, I'm all about it. So you let okay, me know. good. Mm-hmm. There's Roberto, so many times. If you change your avatar to that, you will never be highlighted again. <laughs> I would love to do Pearl uh, review now. Have you read Pearl? No. I loved Pearl. I'm. Okay. I. That's a Jinx World book, so mm-hmm. I don't. I don't. I don't know that it. Is going to be on the DC app or the Dark Horse app or where you can get this. I'll but... just pick up the trades. Oh, uh, these are so <laughs> good. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> there, we settled that. Yeah. It is so good. I would love to to review this with you. Okay. We we should stay uh, stay on after me after we yeah, end we'll the show. Up. We better stay on mm-hmm. in the green room and come up. Uh, with it. It's on Dark Horse now. Yeah, I think Cycle uh, Cleveland wanted my uh, my crime resume. This is I'm ma- I'm basically taking this more as a reason to read co- crime books as being on this show. So I've read a few books here and there, but I'm not like I haven't read a ton of crimes stuff. I think Criminal was before Alias. Criminal was the last crime book that I read, and I know I enjoyed it. So the show will give me even more of a reason to read crime stuff. Uh, Freddie Alonso gave Joe's um, uh, resume up here when he said <laughs> yeah. uh, Joe is more than qualified, great guy, and amazing fanboy. That's all he needs to be. It, <laughs> mainly a good guy, able to speak on the air, and I knew him. So I went to him first. And that's uh, that's his resume. There we go. Uh, want to read Scalp, but those hardcovers are expensive. Uh, I think you mean Reckless, but yeah, Reckless is great. Um, have you read Reckless by Brubaker? No, because I want to, because I know that's set in the criminal uh, world, right? 
I don't I don't know that it is. Reckless is his own thing. He's a kind of a pseudo private investigator oh, that okay. owns a movie theater. I'm I, it, it's four thin hardcovers and right. I bought them. So that probably means they're going to get collected at some point. But I don't uh, know. Um, I I haven't I don't uh, subscribe to Ed Brubaker's newsletter or anything. So I don't know if he said they'll ever mm -hmm. get collected. But I like I like those smaller hardcovers. They're not bad. Yeah. And the art is, of course, fantastic. Right. And the story is, of course, fantastic. So I highly recommend those Reckless books. Yeah, I'll, I'll check those out, too. Oh, you want to know about my resume? <laughs> I don't have a resume. I have I have a channel. That's that's it. <laughs> that's all. So here's a question, Jess. Do you read when you read one book? Are you, do you just stick to that book or do you hop between multiple books? Like, I tend to read genres? just oh, yeah, yeah, I tend to read just uh I, I only read straight through a series. Gotcha. If I hop, especially something by Hickman, <laughs> if yeah. I drop something by Hickman and go yeah. on to something else, I'll have to start all over. I love decorum. Um, but it does take concentration, of course, to read Hickman books. But no, I I can't I generally if if I hop, I lose interest in whatever I started. I mean, that's what happened with Scalped. I tried something else and then forgot all about Scalped. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, I think Cycle is kind of pushing it, but that's what Cycle does. Cycle Cleveland always pushes it. <laughs> he's he was like one of my first fans and he's always yelled. So <laughs> so it, it's okay. Um well, the, uh, I, I, let's see, we've been on for an hour and a half, which is of course much longer than I told my wife we would be down here. <laughs> um, she doesn't even take me seriously anymore when I say, yeah, it'll be half hour, 45 minutes. <laughs> um, okay. This, if I'm only putting this up because it's a baseball question, does baseball need to get modernized with a clock for pitchers and limit subbing? Um, I understand that they are um, experimenting with the clock in the minor leagues. I, they already limit subbing as it is, yeah. you know, that you yank out somebody and that person's done. Yeah. Um, and uh, based on the first book, my opinion is yes. So, but yeah. my book. I love his, I love that art. Yeah. Um, so the answer is you're going to have to watch the next show to get our complete opinion. I know we're going to love it. So you can get it and read it ahead of time. And, uh, I personally, IDW is not the greatest at keeping books in print. Mm -hmm. I would get those books sooner rather than later. If you're interested, it's, you know, they're those big, mm -hmm. oh, I already moved it out to my read set pile. Um, they're those big giant library size type things and IDW doesn't have the best track record uh, keeping things in print so um, I would get those sooner rather than later I, I can I'm not going to the oversight yeah that's what they're available in is oversized slipcase editions and I, I just hate that they don't fit in the cup of my case I, <laughs> I hate that yeah, I got um, I got a, a Billy with adjustable shelves that mm. the, that it fits in. But yeah, those huge books can be problematic. I, yeah. They might fit in a Kalax, um, but you have to move your shelves up and down for them to fit in a Billy from yeah. Ikea. Um, okay, genius, you misspelled Darwin. So go back retype his name properly and then resubmit this and um i might consider it uh he got them off rodimus got both parker books off of organicpricebooks.com so there you go you can get two dollars off it get another book and ship it together three you can get five percent off i mean come on what are you doing with your life as the comic slayer would say um uh, um, 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 um. 
Oh, here's a good question from James. Do either of you have a favorite crime murder mystery movie? Um, is Inception considered a crime movie? Right? It's a heist, right? Wow. Yeah, that is such so, a good choice. So that's my favorite. That's my favorite I, movie of all time. So I, I, I don't know that I can movie. disagree with that. Yeah. It's that. And just if, if I'm just talking about straight crime, Heat has to be one of my favorite crime movies. Heat is so also good. great. Um, I'm a fan of the older ones. So I mm -hmm. like Sunset Boulevard mm -hmm. um, with Gloria Swanson in it. I love that uh, as a crime movie. But yeah, it's hard to argue um, with Inception. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I, I feel like Inception sort of even its own thing. But yeah, right. it is a heist. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to get that yeah. information. Correct. Um, I love, love, love the ending in that. It's so good. I love the way they ended it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, that's better. Darren <laughs> Cook is a must-have. He's a genius cartoonist. Correct. And a genius writer. Uh, I never saw Sopranos. I know that I makes me great. Seven is also a very, good very hardcore yeah. uh, crime movie. Oh, Preacher volume two. Oh, Preacher, yeah. Um, I also got Parker from OBP. That's where Rodimus got his absolute Preacher 2, at least indirectly. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Okay, good. You like old movies. Good, good, good. And Freddy's favorite murder mystery. I haven't seen Knives Out. I know I need to see it. My kids are, they keep uh, giving me crap for not seeing it. I, uh, I wonder, is that, a, I wonder if that's a movie. I bet that's a movie I could see with my wife. Probably. Uh, this is great. Lock, stock, oh, and two smoking barrels. Snatch is that also was just, good. That was the next thing that was going to come out of my mouth was Snatch. <laughs> yeah. So both are so good. And uh, I still haven't caught up on my Jason Stath Statham movies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I've seen a lot of them, and he's great mm -hmm. in anything. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> right, buddy. I've never seen either of those. I've never seen The Wire. I have seen Sopranos. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so Bunk and you. Oh, Documentary and Movies is in there with popcorn and a thumbs up. Right on, man. I um, I saw Dog Eat Dog recently and liked it a lot. I am not familiar with that. I think so. Throw me under the bus if Patty doesn't enjoy it. <laughs> I uh, we saw well, we saw Paddington too. That was the last movie we watched together. I really have to watch Paddington too, huh? You guys are making me. It is so great. You and everybody's wife, talking and saying wife great and things. Daughter about it. will love it. I don't know about your son, but I know you and your wife and daughter will love this movie. Okay. And I could I don't have to watch the first one. I could watch the second one. Uh I didn't watch the first one. Okay. I have I, people say don't don't bother watching the first one and then people say Paddington 1 is great too. I just enjoyed Paddington 2 by itself. And it's okay. it was super charming and great. Okay. <laughs> I like Max's comment. P2 will change your life. <laughs> it, uh, it made my wife so happy and me too. Happy okay. wife, happy life? Yes. Right. Um, heists are harder to pick one. I love so many, especially if they're fun and silly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I... I should probably get going on my day, even yes. though the day's half done. Uh, but Joe, where can they find you on Instagram? It's going to be in the description down below. Yep. Uh, it's just Joe Guz 27 on Instagram. Okay. That's it. And you can find me on Instagram, uh, Omnidogs underscore vault. And of course, Omnidogs vault on YouTube. And I don't know what I'm going to do about Morbius. I somehow need to watch it before <laughs> Omni Bros tomorrow night or Lou's going to kill me. Um, Find Cliff Notes somewhere. Just read them. <laughs> I, he's going to rip it apart because apparently it's awful. And yeah, I, I, But I really need to watch it. So uh, yeah. peace and love to the chat. Thank you. You were really good today. I appreciate everybody 
everybody's input. Uh, I appreciate Joe coming on the show. Joe, thank you. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. It's fun being on this side because I've watched you for years and now being on the other side of the camera with you, it's fun. So, Yeah, this is great. Uh, so peace and love, peace and love. Thank you to Organic Price Books. Thank you to Joe. Thank you to the chat. Um, wait, you want to say it again? What is it? I say guz. Joe guz. I've mm -hmm. always said goose. Okay. I say guz. Okay. His, it's, your Doesn't last name matter. is Guzman? Guzman, yeah. Okay. I've but, if, said... but a lot of uh, my family say Guzman. So you could say Guz. It could be Guz or it could, I, you could do Guz. So. You're okay with either. I'm, I'm okay with either. That's fine. right. Okay, good. Look at this. We'll make this the last comment from the Max, fabulous Max. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. So thank you to everyone for helping make this a great debut for Joe and the continuation of Crime Corner. Peace and love. <laughs> peace and love. See you guys.